San Jose Mayor Matt Mahan is announcing a new crackdown on the homeless encampments that run along the city's many miles of creeks and waterways. As Lem Ramirez reports, the mayor is calling on residents to get behind efforts to bring people indoors, warning that the status quo is an environmental and humanitarian emergency. Well, the city of San Jose is already facing huge fines and restrictions from the Regional Water Quality Control Board because of the amount of pollution going into the streams that feed into San Francisco Bay. And so it's under that backdrop that the mayor announced today that the status quo for encampments along the waterways is no longer acceptable. Edward Thompson has camped in the creek beds of San Jose for the last three years. And he just got the news that San Jose intends to permanently remove homeless encampments along the waterways like his. I think it's probably better for the water, but it depends like uh, where you're going to put them and, and you talk about uh, land space. I like it on the creek. We've had significant encampments on. Mayor Matt Mahan and members of the city council ventured out along the banks of Coyote Creek to see the camps and the pollution that make their way into the water. I'm glad, frankly, that the Regional Water Control Board is going to force us to be more pragmatic in creating alternatives for the folks who are living out here. Every time a major storm passes through, tons of trash, batteries, and harmful chemicals are washed downstream. Environmental groups can only do so much to remove the debris. Mahan, who vowed in his campaign for mayor in 2022 to end the era of encampments in San Jose, says the real solution is moving people out of the camps and keeping them out. We need to get people into a place that has basic sanitation, basic security, and a connection to case management. I, we cannot continue to allow the perfect to be the enemy of the good. We can't have a 20, 30 year strategy for eventually building enough affordable housing to deal with what is truly an emergency on our streets. An estimated 1,000 people live in San Jose Creek beds. Currently, there's not enough available housing to bring all of them inside. City Council Member Pam Foley says people who often oppose homeless shelters in their neighborhoods are going to have to step up to help solve the problem. It is really important that the neighborhoods agree to and find the benefit in constructing these emergency housing facilities in their neighborhoods. Mahan says the council will be taking action over the next six months to plan and spend tens of millions of dollars to build more emergency shelters and safe parking lots. After that, the camps will be cleared and enforcement action will be taken to stop them from coming back. We have a responsibility in government for, for providing safe, dignified alternatives to encampments. And when they're provided, individuals have a responsibility for taking advantage of them. I'm on a waiting list at the Martin Luther King Library downtown. And I'm with a program over there that, that is waiting for housing to open up. And I know there's housing, but it just takes a while to process paperwork and whatever. So I just got to go report to them. Edward Thompson says although he likes living out in the open for most of the year, he would gladly come indoors.